friends, Miss Tracy here from the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. Welcome to another episode of our virtual early art education program. This episode is inspired by the book, Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away, written by Meg Medina and illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. It's a story about friendship and follows two best friends on the day before one of them moves away. The beautiful pictures in the book are filled with bright colors, visual textures, and patterns. Today, we're going to learn about texture. So sit crisscross applesauce and turn those listening ears on. Texture is how something feels. We can feel an object's texture with our hands. Texture could feel bumpy, like bubble wrap, or gritty or rough like sandpaper, or soft like fur, or slippery like a window after it's rained. It could be prickly or spiky like a cactus, or hard and smooth like marble. This spiky little hedgehog is on his way to visit a friend who moved away. Let's follow him. To get to his friend, he had to walk through a prickly cactus patch. That led to a hard, rocky path. That turned into a soft, grassy path. that led to a slippery, icy path. That turned into a squishy, muddy road. He walked through a forest of rough trees until finally he was reunited with his feathery friend. Now it's time for an activity. For our activity today, we're going to go on a texture hunt. Can you look around your house or your classroom and find something that is bumpy, like bubble wrap, like a Lego or some other toy? What about something that is soft, like a stuffed animal or a feather? Can you find different objects with all these types of textures? Another fun way to explore texture is by creating texture rubbings with crayons and paper. You can use objects such as pennies, bread tabs, packing material, and puzzle pieces. Or you can go for a nature walk and collect leaves to do leaf rubbings. Kiss your brain, friends, for exploring texture. Now it's time for an art project. These are the materials you will need. Construction paper, objects of different textures like feathers, bubble wrap, pipe cleaners, craft balls, etc. Paint, and a paintbrush, which is optional. For our art project today, we're going to create patterns using different textures in a fun printmaking project. You can create beautiful visual textures and patterns just by using different objects and paint. To make the project a little less messy, I glued different objects to cardboard and craft sticks, but you can use them as is as well. You can use a paintbrush to apply paint directly to the objects, or you can spread a thin layer of paint on a paper plate and dip the objects in the paint. After you've applied paint to your object, press it firmly on a piece of paper and you will see that the texture has been transferred visually to your paper. You can repeat your stamp to create a pattern. You 
can also overlap your patterns to create layers. To clean the stamps that you made with cardboard, take a damp paper cloth and wipe the paint off and you'll be able to reuse them. If you made them with craft sticks, you can rinse them off under cold water and let them dry. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye friends. Thank you to our program partner. Thank you to our generous supporters.